Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to show you just a couple of quick cards that I made with the SCT sampler. So here's the first one, and I wanted to show you. I found a tutorial on Pink Strawberries website. She's wonderful for tutorials on how to make these covers, and I think I can't remember if she was making it for a card specifically, but it wasn't this size of card. I basically took um, one of the six by six pieces of paper and cut it down to the right width, but then I just scored whatever was left at the top there uh, and bottom and folded it over and glued it. And it creates this bow, which allows you to make a little bit of a shadowed effect and pop-up card. So I made these little flowers, which I just take a punch and I glue all the layers together. And I put one of these sequin flowers in the middle and I fussy cut this little window from that patterned paper that was the only full size window I had but now looking at it I could have cut one of the non full size windows and off centered it like this and it would have worked out as well. Anyway I took the Hello Sunshine die cut and that is this card so it's neat because it gives you a 3D effect and it's all like on the cover but when you open the card it's nice and clean on the inside. So the second card that I made is this sweet card and I may alter it and put like a sweet 16 or something like that. Like I may alter this a little bit with another message depending on who I'm giving it to and for what occasion, but this would be a really cute sweet 16 card. And um, this sweet, the interesting thing about it was when I went to separate the two die cuts, I actually couldn't easily get them apart and I didn't want to bend it. So I thought, well, what would happen if I ran it through my die cutter and um, left it? And that way I knew I would get one where it was just sweet and then the second one that was the shadow. And then this inner one fits in perfectly. So you just cut two different pieces of paper and I can show you the other one that I did here. So you could see this is the outline piece of paper and this is that bold patterned paper. And so because it's perfectly inset and set up, lined up the way that it should be, this is kind of a fun way to use these dies. Instead of breaking them apart and having a full background piece of this shadow you can actually have this set right in so it's flush and so i thought that was kind of a neat way to use it so i could use it that way a number of times and then i can separate them apart and then use them the way that i have been using them previously anyway we um, showed you this card already i just took one of the frames and i put a piece of pattern paper underneath it and cut around that. And then I just layered up some of the ephemera and stickers, added a couple of little um, dots there and created that card. So that's just those two. And then the third one was simple. And I really like how clean this card looks. Uh, this is another one that I could come along and add like a happy birthday at the bottom or happy anniversary or happy Mother's Day, whatever occasion you could easily stamp or add that little sentiment. But how I created this base was I had this tag, I added a little bow to it. These are two of the frames that came in my sticker set. Again, I took the happy two by two cut apart and I used it to um, be the backing for this frame and then I cut out the difference. I left this frame blank and then I put the butterfly popped up on a foam tape like this. This tag is popped up as well. And then again, I just used that last piece that I had left over from when I cut this six by six piece of paper because I really liked this subtle um, 
neutral pattern. So that's the first four cards that I've created. Um, I just thought I'd share those with you. I do have some plans that I'm going to create with uh, another project that I have coming up. So I will do another video. It's for a, it's a kind of like a sponsored video. I was sent some dyes and I have something in mind for the rest of my kit. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Thank you.